like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Are y'all all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope you understand where I'm coming from with this. And I don't plan to be long, but I do want to make some strong points yes, to help all of us. Because it don't take much. We, we, we hear it on a regular basis, and I'm just your brother. Yes. I feel no worthy to be standing before you than you may feel to be standing before me. Yeah. And those of you that know me, regardless of what I may say across the roster, I really enjoy listening to you. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Because I know that I've been taught that when you're looking at the black man and black woman, you're looking at God. So I know that you have something to say about it. And that is not to say that we're all in a classroom and we're learning at the same pace. But Allah gives to whom he pleases. Right? We used to say years ago, man, give me that wino syndrome. The wino don't care what's, what's, what the bottle looks like, right? He won't what's in the bar. Right. And that is how it's such a bad analogy to use wine. But, you know, we can deal with that from a scriptural stand standpoint and right. turn the water to wine, which right. is actually a better understanding. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a drink of alcohol since September 3rd, 1993. That's probably before a few people here was born. <laughs> Not one sip. And don't desire to have one sip, right? I tell people joking, I say, man, if I was to drink a daiquiri, you know, a daiquiri is for people that just, you know, right. ah, like the alcohol side. I say, I get a DUI. I couldn't even drive. You're talking about, you know, blood and just be saying, oh, what is this? <laughs> what is going on, right? right. So I don't know why all that came from just now, but bad with it. <laughs> but I'm talking about understanding, yes, sir. right? We have to get a better understanding of who we are and the favor that Allah has chosen us yes. for. Why he has chosen us. Yes. Why we are descendants of a people who has been subjected to things unheard of before we were subjected to. Yes. No form of slavery has ever been considered worse than what our ancestors and forefathers endured. Yes. And so the mental slavery that we see taking place today that is preventing us from being unified and accomplishing what we can accomplish daily there are people, as Jesus said, to his disciples. And this is what we have to help people to understand. His disciples had issues with those that was performing the work of the Father. Not necessarily Jesus, because he was performing the work of who? The Father. Right. Who he was performing the work for? The, the Father. Father. Are, we, are we clear? Yes, sir. It, Jesus didn't have the juice. Hmm. The Father gave him the juice to cut loose. That's right. All right? I had an extra shot of espresso, so excuse me if I start rapping. <laughs> so what we have is that he had to admonish the disciples because they took issue with people that was doing the work of the Father, but that wasn't with him, who they considered to be their leader. They said, well, wait a minute. Why are you, what are you doing? I don't know you. Right. And unfortunately, the way this system has set up leadership in, ter in terms of black leadership, if you get so locked on to my leader and miss what is taking place by this brother that is of good, you miss the big picture. Right. Mm -hmm. So you begin to knock the great works of this man because you don't right. agree with him in totality. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You love your mother. <clears throat> you love your spouse. Right. You don't agree with people you love that you would give your life for 100% all the time. Right. Am I right? right? You have issues with people, your fault, right? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about blood, flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have issues with leadership, but if we can look at the big picture and what's effective and what works, man, we can change this thing overnight. Right. So that is the challenge. Right. And that sister was making it clear that you can't say you are a black leader and not have interaction with the nation of Islam. Right. No. Impossible. You can't say that you are someone that believes in helping our people to clean up their condition. Right. right. Our condition. Right. right. Even if you stay in the suburbs, it's still your condition. Right. Because when you leave out of the suburbs and you're in the mall, right, 
and you walk into your car, you might say, I don't have to deal with those people. But the fallen man will be the man that's in the car waiting for you with your purse on your side, right. with the bag in your hand, the fallen man, right. waiting to make that come up off of you right. because you say, I don't have to deal with those people. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So that is why when we put things in perspective, you can't run from the problem. Mm -hmm. We have to deal with it. That's right. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. We all have a history, <clears throat> right? Yes, and so I've spoken in different venues to different people in the mosque, outside of the mosque, and I'm pretty candid with mine, right? I'm not asking you to do the same. Right. I can't tell people everything that I've done, right? We know right. that there's no. not a statute of limitation or everything, and some things are better off not said right. because it's really not relevant. Right. Right. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Right. But we deal with relevancy. Right. And the, the thing of importance is that all of us have a history. Yes. And your history don't have to be identical to the next person. Right. No. But the medicine. Mm. The medicine. Yes. All of us have experienced colds, right? Yes. right. Sneezing, mm -hmm. running nose. Mm -hmm. You know, the list goes on in diagnosing people, right? With right. certain symptoms. Right. You may be coughing, but you may not be sneezing. Mm -hmm. I may be sneezing, but I may not be coughing. Right. right. But the same prescription that helps for sneezing as well as coughing, you and I both will be taking it. Right. <laughs> if we want to get better. Yeah. Even if it's the natural remedy. Like, before I even think about taking medication made in laboratories, I'm thinking of honey, right. lemon, garlic. Right. You know, that's my mindset. Right. And you know, we deal with people sometimes when they start, the nose start running. Well, you got some, some medicine in the cabinet. Right? Yeah, right? They go straight to the medicine. Right. The man-made medicine, right? The laboratory. Yeah. The pills. My first thing is scratch your throat. Oh, I need some lemon. That's right. Right. I need some honey. Right? Mm -hmm. I want the natural things from That's the earth right. to try right. to attack it that way. That's right. And it, it, for the most part of this, it works. Yeah. But then there's been a few occasions when I came into some toxic germs, <laughs> right? <laughs> And I had to go to my doctor, and you know, your doctor knows you if you have that relationship. Right. And in one way, certain things don't change about us. <clears throat> and I say this, to put rebellion, to be rebellious, it's not all bad. I know you're looking at you, thinking about your child that you just had to whoop, right? <laughs> or you're thinking about somebody that you love, you told them don't do something they did, you saw that person rebellious, right? Right. But if you're rebelling against a government, right, right, that's right. seeking to kill you and take your life, that's a good rebellion, mm -hmm. right? That's right. Well, I don't like to take medication, so my doctor tells me the few times I've had to get some, you know, some of that medication. Mm -hmm. She said, Derek, you have to take all of the medication, otherwise it's going to come back. Right. Right. She has to tell me this because of all 12, 13 year relationship, she knows that I don't like to take medicine. Right. And as soon as I feel like I'm getting better, I'm like, oh, I'm done, <laughs> right? I'm through with it. Right. I've reached the point to where I'm, I'm feeling back where I need to be feeling, right? To be right. maximum, my maximum productivity. You know, I'm there, right? right? Well, we know that if Allah has given us something to do, there should be no rebellion in that. And when I say Allah has given us something to do, if you receive something via the vessel of the Amrasul's Farrakhan, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, whatever you receive through the Quran, the Bible, right. and you begin to take that medicine and it works, right? It begins to work and clean you up and you begin to get better. Mm -hmm. There should be no rebellion in that. That's right. You understand? Right. And so what that medication will do is help you that then lasts in the race of life, right? Because when we're sick, we can't run at fast pace or the normal speed that Allah has given us to move at, right? right? We begin to be last in the race. And unfortunately, life, it appears that black people tend to lag behind, mm -hmm. right? But we know that we're not running a, a straight sprint. We have hurdles. We've always been running hurdles That's since we've right. been here. That's so right. even though we may be quick as lightning, we have to jump those hurdles mm -hmm. that a lot of people don't have to jump. Right. So Tamika Mallory 
is one of the sisters that's outside of the fold back to her that understands the mission right, right. and how we have to work together. Right. And I applaud that sister. That's right. And she shows a, a stronger backbone and spine than some of the brothers, as Brother Darrell was talking about this morning. Right. Mm -hmm. How can you put together something to condemn someone or somebody that has helped you? Right. Mm -hmm. And that you seem value in. Right. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And one thing that sticks out at me is what she con continues to say on all her interviews. She said, condemnation is not my language. Come on. We have to understand that sometimes scripts are written. They're written and given to people. And you know that you hear the same words over and over and over. You're like, who write these scripts? Yeah. Follow people to say the same thing over and over. Condemn. That's a strong word, right? Well, why would you condemn that which is good? Right. So what we're going to do is look at the Holy Quran, the second chapter, verse 137 through 138. Uh -huh. So if they believe as you believe, look at key words, believe, right? It don't say so if they were Muslims and you were Christian, right? Mm -hmm. Believe. We talking about believers, right? Mm -hmm. They are indeed on the right course. Mm -hmm. On the right course. If you're on a course, right? The right course, that means there's some action taking place. Mm -hmm. And if they turn back, then they are only in opposition. But Allah will suffice be against them. And he is the hearing, the knowing. Verse 138 goes on to say, we take Allah's color. Mm -hmm. The believers must take Allah's color. Mm -hmm. And who is better than Allah at coloring? And we are his worshipers. That's right. <clears throat> it's a lot in this. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> but really, it's simplistic and it, at its core. And that is, when you define the word color, a phenomenon of light or visual perception that enables one to differentiate Otherwise, identical objects. Mm -hmm. So when you hear somebody say, we are all the same, you have to be able to recognize the differences. Mm -hmm. Even though they may look just like you, are they on the right course? Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Yes, sir. Or have they turned their back and moved in a different direction, even though they may look the same? Mm -hmm. uh, the phenomenon of light or visual perception that enables us, you and I, to be able to tell the difference in otherwise identical objects. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are all the same. No, no. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. what, what you and I are doing is going to determine if we are the same or not. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> that's right. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's, that, that's the determining factor. Are we on the right course or we're not? Mm. Have we turned our back? Are we soldiering for them? Right? Then they are only in our position. So, what I want to do is take us into a time capsule. Mm -hmm. Put on your seat, brothers. No, I'm just <laughs> Now, what, 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 what I wanted to do, I found a few pictures as I was looking at this verse. And I, you know, I tend to read things and I sit back and I think about it and I read it again. And this is how I study. Because I was told that I wouldn't live to see 21. Right. I'd be then prison or dead. And all these things repeated by, I want to say, I, don't, I was going to say so called, but by family members. They right. weren't so called, they're flesh and blood. No. But they looked at the actions of the child, yeah. but did not have the solution to the problem. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> so it's important for us to be able to look at something, mm -hmm. and if you have something to say, have a solution in your mouth mm -hmm. that will enable that which you perceive to be falling to rise again right, with right. your help. Right. That's right. That's so people in my life didn't have the proper perception. They did not have a lost color, and even though they knew scripture, right? <coughs> right they could right. sing the songs, the gospel songs, and etc. 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 But they didn't have the proper perception they had not taken upon a lost color. The, the perception that they had in mind is the statistics that showed if you do this, that, and this, this is where you're going to end up. Statistically, 
That is what's going to happen to you, right? right? You're going to be either dead or in the grave. But realistically, Allah has given us medicine to cure the fallen man and woman. And that is what's more important to articulate what can be done to help the child. What can be done to help the woman and the man. That's more important than the condemnation. That's right. Presumption of what's going to happen. That's right. But perception, and we all want to accomplish things and be people, right? We want to be somebody. Because we are somebody. Are you listening? Damn.